Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you guys today. Um, we're going to talk about Leo Moon. Okay, Leo Moon. So if you have a moon in Leo, you can apply this video. Okay, so if it does not apply, don't try to make it apply. Um, this is just something new that I'm trying out for my channel. So... Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below, okay? If this message resonates with you, leave me a comment. <laughs> leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. And let's see what we got, okay? So this is going to be for Moon and Leo, okay? If you have a Moon in Leo, you have a Leo Moon, all right? Let's see what messages we have for Leo Moon. The answers you need are coming, the answers you need are coming. Can y'all see that? The answers you need are coming. You're very close to achieving your goal and your emotions are running high. All right, so I'm getting like the answers that you're looking for. If you're looking for something, get ready because it's on the way. Show me past energy for Leo Moon. Thank you. We have, it's time to take action, okay? So it was time to take action. Balance spirituality and practicality and expect powerful change. Conclusions are within reach. So you're trying to find a conclusion or something. Like you're kind of, you're trying to, you're trying to um, get to the bottom, get the bottom line of something. Okay, what is, show me future energy for Leo Moon. luck is on your side it's time to release negativity a personal issue reaches resolution so it looks like something that you've been pondering about trying to find a resolution to it looks like a resolution is on the way okay i feel like a fiery climax is approaching so something is about to blow up like <laughs> something is about to get like action is about to be taken towards something okay so let's get some more clarifiers let's see this is interesting for my leos leo 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 moon leo moon this is for my leo moon leo moon okay y'all hear that rain okay so it just started pouring down raining that could definitely be symbolic um it's raining really hard, too. And it's, what, 9 o'clock in the morning here? It's 10.09 right now. So it's really early, and it's really, really, the weather is, like, it's really pouring down. Okay, so there's about to be a, like, I'm getting, like, a flood. It floods a lot here, especially with the area that I, that I live in. When it rains really hard, it floods. So there's about to be, like, a, like I'm getting, like, an over, or overflow of emotions possibly um uh something is about to be a uh, overflow let's get some more details here all right honesty see yeah the truth is getting ready to be revealed okay you're going after the truth you want the truth you f you may feel like somebody you may feel like somebody is playing you um because we got playful here and you want to know the truth. You want to know the truth here. Okay, so past energy. We have it's time to take action. 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 Okay, so past energy. Let's look at past. We have wish fulfillment. Okay. So you want to take action. Or you want someone to take action. We got loyalty. You want somebody to prove that their loyalty to you. Um, you feel like something is forbidden. Like like it'll go against the rules of some in some way, shape, or form. But then we got confidence, okay? Like you're successful in confidence, okay? So like you're confident that this is going to work out in your favor. Um, and that... You are like, you know, you feel like you're in the best thing popping right now. Okay, so 
you're wanting someone to show you that they're show you their loyalty because for some reason it's something is forbidden okay so let's look I, I feel like a fiery climax is on the on the horizon I feel like luck is on your side so let's see what we got here luck is on your side show me future energy for Leo moon some of you may have been seeing the number seven 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 um Let's see what we got here. Vision. Okay, we got vision. Okay, so the bigger picture is here. Okay, so you, you're going to have to look um, a little further ahead. We got rigid and love. This love thing that's going on right now is looking kind of rough. Okay, it's, it has some rigid moments to it it has some it's rough around the edges um but are you looking at the bigger picture here are you looking at the bigger picture we got oath and denial high priestess of fire oath and denial <clears throat> a oath is when you have to take an oath, a promise, okay? But someone is denying, someone's in denial. Someone is in denial here. We got the high priestess of fire, which is you guys' energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But we got reminder and the moon here. You have to be reminded. I'm feeling like... Things that like flaws, okay, like you're looking at someone's flaws or you're looking at your flaws and I got self-worth and trapped. Someone's afraid to take a risk. You're afraid to take a risk. Um, you're not sure if this is lust or love, okay, but I'm getting like this is a very lusty situation that you're in. Okay, I feel like there's a need to make a decision because we got choices here. Somebody um, has sex, has multiple sex partners. Somebody has multiple sex partners is what I'm getting here. Okay, and I'm getting like message and playful. Like someone is saying that they're playing, that they're just playing, but they have multiple um, people that they're lusting after or this is your energy. Why is honesty here? The high priestess. I feel like you know, you your intuition intuitively you already know the truth, or you want this person to be honest with you. You may feel like they are being childish, childlike with the page of swords. Um, and someone is afraid to take a risk. I got this twice that someone <clears throat> is afraid to take a risk. I feel like you're afraid to take a risk. You're afraid to take a risk because. Um, you feel like this person is childlike, but very childlike energy, like they're childish. So you're waiting until um, you get something serious or something serious comes along or until they show you that they're serious, okay? Yeah, like you realize that this person is very irrational and very, Knight of Swords is very... Um, childlike energy and you're tired of asking you're tired of getting your feelings hurt you're tired of getting your feelings hurt with the four of swords the eight of wands and the three of swords um you feel like you could move forward you feel like you could do better i feel like um i'm getting very i'm getting capricorn's energy with the devil here um but lots of sexual energy with the devil and the ace of wands here um sexual energy here like somebody possibly has like <laughs> really good sex okay why is the high priestess here this is pisces and cancer's energy um so a pisces could be involved or a cancer why is the high priestess here the ace of cups okay you know the truth about how somebody feels or you intuitively like you, you have a, like your intuition is telling you, um, 
like how this person truly feels. I feel like somebody is not being honest with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords. There could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius involved. But somebody doesn't want a relationship. You may feel like uh, this person, you, you may want a relationship with someone and they don't want a relationship with you or vice versa. Your intuition may be telling you um, to go find, to, to look for something new in love. Somebody's not saying anything. Somebody's not telling the truth about something. And somebody's afraid to take a risk, okay? Like you, I'm feeling like you guys are afraid to take a risk in love, in this love situation. Why is the Ace of Cups here? King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the Lovers. Three of Pentacles, I'm getting the Love Triangle, the, the Moon, Knight of Cups, and the Page of Wands, and the Death card. Not being ready, okay, for an offer. Uh, I'm feeling like I'm getting like a love triangle. I'm getting definitely getting a love triangle here. Libra Gemini Aquarius could be involved, but this is like serious business. Like you want someone that is going to be, um, you want the truth in something. I know that King of Swords. Lots of King of Swords here. The star. I'm getting an Aquarius. I'm getting an Aquarius. And I'm getting that someone needs to balance out some issues. I'm getting like a disagreement, but trying to find balance. A, a Libra could be involved with the Justice card here. But I'm getting that you're involved in something and you're trying to find a balance. You're trying to resolve an issue. Because somebody's not saying anything. Somebody's not saying anything and you're trying to resolve an issue. Why is the star card here? The two of wands. Hoping that someone is prepared and ready. The temperance could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Somebody needs to heal. I'm seeing that as well too. I'm getting like a balance. Trying to find a balance. Somebody, you could be afraid that this person is going to walk away. It's going to walk away and leave you. Like, walk away all of a sudden. Like, I feel like you feel like this person is going to leave abruptly. Like, the truth. You're going to find out the truth about this person. What is the temperance card here? The tower. The tower and the moon is... I'm getting like someone is very extremely emotional. Why is the, why is the moon here? Oh, I'm getting jealous. Jealousy. Spiteful. I'm getting a spite. Somebody's doing something out of spite. You may feel like this person is trying to hurt you out of spite. Or you're trying to hurt somebody out of spite. Um, I'm getting that heavily. The moon and the five of swords. It's people with hidden agendas. Okay, I'm getting that there's a hidden agenda here. Why's the three of swords here? Lots of spying going on. And somebody with hidden agenda. With a hidden agenda. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Eight of Cups. Yes, something about walking away. Somebody abruptly walking away. You find not the truth and abruptly walking away. Why's the Eight of Cups here? Saying goodbye, wanting an apology, and being afraid to take that risk. Somebody's walking away and saying that they're single, that they're done. Okay. And you may feel, okay, somebody's a player. What is this? Somebody's moving on. To something new. Somebody's leaving abruptly and moving on to something new. 
or you feel like somebody would is going to do that like intuitively like your intuition is telling you that that there could be a tower moment and somebody's doing had a hidden agenda and somebody's doing something out of spite okay you're trying to find out somebody okay i got king of pentacles the devil card and the ace of pentacles somebody is greedy and money hungry and possessive and does have um a hidden agenda okay king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn capricorn with the devil card and the ace of pentacles lots of earth energy um i'm getting that somebody is greedy and money driven like um somebody is very somebody could be getting used for money Yeah, three of pentacles, lots of pentacles. Somebody could also be trying to start a business. But somebody feel somebody maybe trying to start a business, right? Um, but but then they turn around and say that it's not worth it. I got the four of wands and the lovers and the eight of swords. Somebody's afraid to say that they love somebody. Or that they that they're married, okay? With the Four of Wands, the Lovers, the Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Somebody's wanting somebody to regret something here as well. So something something big is happening here, okay? Something big. I'm getting that somebody is jealous, or there is spiteful energy, um, or somebody has a hidden agenda. I'm I'm definitely feeling hidden agenda, okay? So we got fulfillment here. Why is fulfillment here? Five of Swords again, and the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the the Fool. Okay, so this is past energy. I feel like this is present energy. Somebody has a hidden agenda. Somebody has a hidden motive, or you're into it. Intuitively, you feel like somebody has a hidden agenda. Past energy with the Five of Swords. Once again, this Five of Swords energy is really heavy energy. This is someone... This is the hidden agenda card. This is um, a disagreement, an argument, people being at odds and people just wanting to win. Uh, you know, doesn't matter who they take down. They just want to win. I got the King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody wants to take a risk. I feel like you want to take a risk. You wanted to take a risk, but now I feel like you're kind of tiptoeing. Why is the fool here? Queen of Swords. That's coming out a lot. Somebody's talking about their past. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Ten of Pentacles. This could be someone's family. Ten of Pentacles, marriage. Somebody's afraid to love. Be, okay, I'm getting the divorce here. I'm getting a split or a divorce. Okay, so somebody's afraid to make a decision. Okay, somebody's afraid to make a decision with the Eight of Swords and the Lovers. Somebody's afraid to make a decision, okay, because of their family or because they're married here. Um, somebody's uh, looking for someone to get a divorce, okay, because I see the Four of Wands, the Three of Swords, which is a divorce, a separation, and the Hermit card is someone being alone or single, Um why is the hermit card here? This is Virgo's energy as well. Why is hermit here? Okay, king of wands. I'm getting a single man. Okay. So someone's waiting for somebody to be single, completely single. Because I'm getting that there is possibly like a love triangle here um, that you guys could be involved in. And someone could possibly be married or they live at home. They're, they're living with a baby mother or a baby father, something like that to that nature. Okay, I'm getting that that could be the reason that some of you are afraid to take that, take that leap of faith because you feel like it's a big risk. Um, and let's see what the, let's get a clarify for the Five of Swords. The Justice card. Okay, so there's trying to, to res come up with a resolution. Trying to come up with a way to resolve this, okay? Because I'm getting that somebody is juggling here with the Two of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Libra with the Justice card here. 
Some of you could be dealing with the court system. Okay. I feel like someone here is juggling. Someone here is at a distance as well, too, with the world and the eight of wands. This is saying that someone is at a long distance, like somebody is far away. Hierophant is Taurus's energy. Um, but I'm getting like somebody regrets possibly somebody saying that they regret getting married or regret getting in um, a commitment. And somebody's also stating that they're afraid um, that they they feel like they have to keep their guard up. OK, but someone got caught in a lie. <coughs> Nine of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Someone got caught in a lie. OK, like somebody's trying to avoid getting caught in a lie. You're waiting for this person to get a divorce. I feel like three of wands and a six of pentacles so you guys can be together with the two of cups. Um, but I'm getting like someone's not happy. Um, four of cups and a ten of cups. I'm getting that someone isn't happy or does not want a relationship, okay? Someone talks a lot. Page of cups and ten of wands. Someone talks a lot. And they're spies, okay? Someone is definitely spying, Okay. The Death card, the Queen of Cups, Scorpio. I'm getting Scorpio's energy as well as Pisces and Cancer's energy. Um, but somebody's trying to refrain from a, a argument or a battle or a fight. Okay. Why is the Justice card here? The Hierophant. There's definitely a marriage here. Um, the Hierophant and the Justice card is legally a legal marriage or some type of legal agreement. Somebody's trying to fight something possibly in court or a legal uh, a legal matter. I'm getting that as well with the Seven of Wands. Okay, the Emperor. Judgment. Okay, I'm getting like somebody's forcing uh, something as well. Like somebody, something is forced. Why is the Hierophant here? Two of Pentacles. And there's a spot. Again, y'all are watching the hell out of somebody. Y'all are watching the hell out of somebody. And there's a juggling act going on. King of Pentacles, okay? So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But somebody is married, okay? Somebody is very much so married or has a live-in situation or is tied in um, possibly with their family. But there's like a tie. I'm getting like a... There's an agreement of some sort, okay? Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. I'm definitely getting, like, stability. Um, and this is wifely energy, okay? I'm getting stable. You're looking for stability. Um, looking, you're, you're wanting to possibly get married, okay? Um, Hermit is Virgo card, Virgo's energy, it, but I keep getting the emperor. Like you're looking for, um, you're looking for a husband or a wife or someone that is going to provide you with stability. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Seven of Wands. I'm getting somebody's being forced. Um, somebody's being forced. Somebody's waiting for somebody to make a decision. You're waiting for this person to make a decision. You're getting tired of um you're you're caught in the middle of something okay because i'm getting that you feel stuck okay you're afraid to make take some type of risk but you want to you want to but you're afraid i keep getting that you're afraid to take a risk and it's in regards to love okay and it's a decision between two or more people because i got the lovers and the three of swords which talks about somebody uh being hurt inside of a three a, a third party situation this is a, a third party situation okay you're tired of waiting okay the four of swords and the hangman you're getting tired of waiting for this person to make their decision with the seven of cups and the empress and some of y'all you know are going to be deciding to move on because this person has a multitude of options I um, mean, you're getting tired of waiting and, and you're kind of like in the mood of wanting to move on. I feel like you're kind of like trying to push somebody towards some, making a decision. Um, whether they're going to make that decision or not, I don't know. 
look we got for future energy we got vision okay so let's look into the future let's see we got vision and i got the seven of pentacles okay so this is patient energy this is being patient and waiting something out oh you're getting you're anxiously waiting anxiously waiting okay so why is the nine of swords here to be with this person two of cups you really really want to be with this person but we got the four of wands at the bottom you want marriage with this person you want family life you want to start a family with this person uh ace of wands and the four of wands strength card you guys is energy king of cups the sun like you really really like adore this person you admire him like you really admire this person but you are anxiously waiting for a relationship with this person why is the two of cups here the world like you feel like this person is your soulmate you feel like this person is your soulmate okay page of cups and i'm getting that there's an open conversation like you want to tell the world about how happy you would be how happy this person makes you um why is the page of cups here the eight no, the two of swords okay but i'm still getting this indecis indecision like this person doesn't isn't making a decision we got the four of cups and this is like you're not trying to be disappointed but this situation is still burdening me i feel like this person is just not making a decision why is the two of swords two of swords is a no why is two of swords here queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn yeah, like, you're not getting, they're, they're not telling you. Like, there's no ten of swords and the eight of wands. This is, like, not saying, not telling you the truth about something, okay? They're not telling you the truth about something, Leo, Moon. Like, they aren't telling you the truth about something. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Page of pentacles again, okay? So, you may be in communication with someone, but, yeah, we, here we go again. Somebody stuck in this in this triangle and this look at this eight of swords the lovers and the three of swords and stuck in a third party situation and you're you know getting tired of being in a situation but you're sitting around and you're waiting for this person to make a decision okay and they're still in the air they aren't making a decision on who they want okay they aren't making a decision. I feel like you're possibly going to end up moving on to something better. Okay. Why is the page of pentacles here? Knight of cups. I'm getting opening up, communicating. Why is the knight of cups here? Okay. With the death card. Okay. I'm getting that, um, with the death card and the knight of cups i'm just not sure that this person is going to make a decision and if they do make a decision i'm just getting like why is the death card here the emperor i'm getting not your man or not man enough or something to that to that energy to that to that vibe okay why is the the will of fortune change for the worse with the devil card or you could be dealing with a capricorn why is the will of fortune here yeah progression and changing things changing things changed and shift and went in a different direction um i really feel like you didn't see it coming you didn't see something coming something is headed your way something is headed your way okay lovers okay something is headed your way we got the lovers and we got the queen of cups here pisces cancer scorpio why is the lovers here the queen of wands okay queen of wands why is the queen of wands here the five of cups okay I keep getting, and I'm going to be honest, I keep getting that you have other options. I feel like you have other options, but I feel like you have your mind set on a specific person. But I'm not too sure if this person is ready to uh, make a decision. 
So I feel like you possibly um, are going to find, move on to find something better. But I feel like this person that you're dealing with, they, are, they aren't ready to choose yet. Okay. Because I keep getting four of cups here at the bottom of the deck and the judgment. Okay. This is somebody that's not wanting to make a final decision. Okay. And you're looking for, you know, someone that's going to show you that passion, possibly someone that's going to chase you, to show you, to show you off. Um, and the page of wands and the fool is like you want someone that's a lot more risky, a risk taker. Um, and I'm just getting like you're tired of waiting for this person to make a decision. You're tired of this waiting on this person. I'm, that's what I'm getting. Like, it's like with vision, it's like look at the bigger picture in this situation. I feel like y'all got other options and, you know, other ways, different avenues that you could take. Um, but I feel like the person that you're, you're after or that's on your mind, I feel like they aren't ready to make a decision yet. Okay. I feel like they're ready to make a decision. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I will chat with y'all later.